The Rockets' only loss in Mid-American Conference play so far at the buzzer in overtime against Akron last weekend, 95-94. Here's Milner going by Pippen. Extra pass, Marion Jackson, and Toledo's two for two. Back the other way, having a sensational year, averaging 19 a game to go along with just under six rebounds. Pretty impressive for a guy that's only six foot two. Was knocked away on the drive. Right, but you know, the Kent State made him pay with 21 points off of those turnovers in game one, so ball security needs to be at a premium here this afternoon for Toledo. Done a good job so far, knocked out a couple threes, but also have attacked the basket from the 15 foot mark in and they've done it with success here early. To Kunzo, nice pass, flipping it to the cutting. The opener, he's just a hard matchup. Good kick out pass by Marion Jackson. Keyshawn Saunders couldn't hit it on the other end of it. But he's just a hard matchup to guard. If you get up at him tight, he has the size, the ability. If he gets inside the 15 foot mark, he's gonna use his strength to get, to get a good look up at the rim. They can post him as well. Nugent tries to drive, it was ripped, it flashes back up by one. Yeah, good first step, like you said, and the ability to get to the rim quickly. Kent State, five made threes already in this first half, has allowed them to hang around, and now they're putting consecutive possessions together with success. Hamilton out on Marion Jackson. Ah, how about that? Jacobs. Kent State 5 of 15 from 3, Toledo 3 of 11. Toledo not taking as many threes as they normally do, but they've gotten some really good looks on the inside, as you noted earlier. Here is a good look from the outside. Maria Jackson knocks it down. We're expecting a perimeter shooting game from them, but obviously they've gotten most of their points in the paint, and he said we need to defend that without fouling and play a better game on both ends of the court. Normandy, thank you. Defend without fouling. Easier said than done, based on what we saw in the first 20 minutes. Here's JT Shoemate, who was quietly really good in the first half. Offensively really efficient, was 4 or 5 shooting, and he left. Milner trying to spin and get a shot away. He did, but couldn't connect on Pippen. It's good discipline by Pippen not to go for the head fake and make, him, make Milner shoot over the top. There's Beck, good positioning inside, but stripped to free throw line, a staggering 95%. Really decided to return to school. One of the things I know, he was told that he... A lot of times you take that shot in the middle of the chest and the ball goes the way of the defender. There's Jackson high off the glass. Jackson, Saunders, no, Jackson, yes. Marianne. Need changes in this one. Hernandez trying to make it 11, he misses. It comes careening off of Justin Hamilton. Milner the pass fake, and then Mario Jackson cut him off. Jackson, yeah. 60 to 57 with 7.20 left. Matia Kunzo in the high post, one dribble and then picked it up. That's not where you want him picking up his dribble, is it? No, he did a good job of being able to pick it out rather than forcing a shot. Jackson driving oh, yeah. and scoring. He's taking advantage of that at a few different times here this afternoon. Big bucket there off the errant miss by Pippen. Jackson down the lane over Pippen. Rollins and Shoemaker. Seth Milner goes to work. Back to Marion Jackson. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Jackson shakes loose. And hits it. Oh, Pippen the rebound. Shot clock is off. 11 seconds left. Jackson the steal and the finish.